Drawing countries from memory. Okay, this is gonna be really embarrassing. In this video, I'm gonna to attempt to draw country outlines from memory. Since my drawing flies from memory series, you've been asking for this a lot. This Snyder fella in particular has been posting it on every video. So Snyder, this is for you. We're gonna spin our country wheel and then we're gonna draw a random country and it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Italy! That is such a perfect one to start. Possibly the most iconic country outline in the world. So it is basically the shape of a boot, is it not? <laughs> so it's like this and then it gets quite thin. It's not looking much like Italy yet. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we get on. I think it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like that? I think that's what it's like. <laughs> and then I think over here there's like an island and then a small island, but maybe one of them's owned by France. I'm going to just go for it though. <laughs> that is my submission. Can we please reveal the real Italy? Um, yeah, I think I deserve a point. Or maybe three quarters of a point because I have missed quite iconic feature and it's like the heel. So we need to like get rid of this bit. Yeah. And then obviously my shape up the top isn't too accurate. It should have come out a little bit more. But you know what? I think we deserve three quarters of a point, particularly because we've got this little island over here as well. Three quarters of a point. Let's draw the next country. <laughs> All right, this time instead of the wheel, I'm going to take a random comment from the previous video and it is India. Thank you, Piranha, for leaving that lovely comment. Right, once again, India is a fairly iconic shaped country. It's kind of all about the triangle, isn't it? So we need to do a triangle like this. And it's, it's a pretty pointy triangle. That looks about right. I'm going to also add in Sri Lanka, just as a bit of detail. I know that Sri Lanka is not part of India, but I just want to shove it in there, okay? And then I think it actually goes out quite a bit over on the right towards like Bangladesh and Nepal and all of those kind of places. And then I think it kind of stretches around China. <laughs> I'm going to go in a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Shall I submit that? Is that what we're going with? <laughs> Should we quickly make the Indian flag within it? Just for our own amusement. I think so. Okay, is it like that and then like that? Yeah. And then a little orange circle in the middle. Oh, that looks delightful. I like that. Okay, let's reveal the actual shape of India. Oh, we've actually screwed up twice there. I don't know why I got cocky and drew the flag because I've drawn it the wrong way up. <laughs> we need orange on the top and we need green on the bottom. Yeah, that looks better already. And then this side is meant to go up like that. And then we get rid of this, which I had not actually realized. So that would be about perfect. It does go up a bit more at the top, but I don't think we need to get overly picky. I think the basic shape is correct. So I think we need another three quarters of a point, please. Thank you. Japan. Okay, that's another pretty good one to draw. I know there's a lot of detail in Japan. We don't have to go crazy with it, but we'll see how we get on. So let's draw this one red in keeping with the flag. Now I know that generally there's just a kind of diagonal to the whole thing. And I think it separates into two islands as well, but I definitely could be wrong. Like two big islands, that is. This is what I'm going to try. I definitely could be completely wrong here. Ooh, I'm going to draw lots of tiny little islands as well, like around it and around the top of it. Is this right? Is this right at all? It looks good with the little islands that I'm shoving in though. That just adds a bit of detail and a bit more realism. That certainly makes it feel more legit, but whether it actually is, is a different question. I feel like it kind of comes out this way. Is that right? And then like a bit up here? Why not? Should we submit it? Let's go for it. Reveal the real thing. Do you know what? Do we give ourselves a full point? Erekai, make it go blurry. It looks like I nailed it. Then when you actually see it back in focus, you realize that the land doesn't separate here, which is obviously quite an essential part of my drawing. But I would say that overall drawing it from memory, it wasn't bad. Let's give ourselves three quarters of a point. <laughs> so what are we on? 2.25 now? <laughs> okay, time to summon another one of your comments, and it is Saudi Arabia. Ooh. Okay, so Saudi Arabia is massive. It's kind of like a big square diagonally rhombus thing, isn't it? Or at least it is in my head. Okay, so I'm going to just go for it. I think that it's kind of just like this. I think it's a bit wider at the end. Yeah, and then a, a diagonal. I think that's it. And then you've got like Yemen and you've got like Oman down here. But we don't need those. They're not necessary. And then you've got like the Horn of Africa here. I think anyway. Let's reveal the true Saudi Arabia and... Okay, it's definitely nowhere near as square as it was in my head. You will notice though, we do have a little bit of an extrusion down in the bottom right here. Which definitely kind of like the real thing. And definitely wasn't just an accident because I knocked my mouse. Okay, the angle's about right. So I think we just give ourselves quarter of a point. Which takes us to a nice round. 2.5 I think <laughs> here we go and it is Argentina
Okay. Actually, it might be quite interesting for me to attempt to draw the entire continent of South America. Because it's quite an easy one, because there's only 12 countries. That's what we're going to do. It's a bonus round. If I nail it, I get three points, all right? <laughs> so this is what I'm going with. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do Chile first, which is basically like this. It's the longest country in the world, isn't it? Longest and thinnest, anyway. Just like that. Okay, Chile flag will fill in with some blue, just like its flag. Okay, and then we do a C for Chile. Nice. Should I do Brazil next? It's the biggest one, takes up the most space. I guess that would make sense, maybe. This is weird to do. It really is. I think it's like that. I feel like I've not left much room for any other countries. Brazil. B for Brazil. Nice. I think there's like Uruguay there. <laughs> then maybe Bolivia up here. So that would mean this would have to be Argentina. Then we've got like, oh God, I'm having a nightmare. It's all gone wrong. I am noticing that I'm just drawing humps. <laughs> to be fair, I think that is kind of like how it is though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there we go. That's Argentina. That's Uruguay. Then we've got Bolivia. I'm going to show Peru there, but I, I don't Oh, jeez. I think I've screwed up. I think that Brazil needs to fill this weird gap that I've left, doesn't it? Because Brazil is like ginormous, isn't it? So that's Venezuela. That's Colombia, maybe. That's Ecuador. Then we've got like Guyana and Suriname down there. And then there's also a French Guyana, but we'll just shove that in here. <laughs> Let me just count how many countries I've got so I can work out if I'm missing any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am missing two. Paraguay. Um, I don't know where Paraguay is. I'll just squeeze Paraguay into this bit. Sure. Yeah, they are Paraguay. I hope that's okay. Okay, well, that was more stressful than I thought it would be. <laughs> I filled it about. I know that quite a few things are wrong, but I want to see roughly if we're correct. So let's reveal the true South America. Here we go. So the main issue that I had was I shoved all of the little countries here when in actual fact they're all over here. And I did think Venezuela was way too long. So that makes sense. I also shoved Paraguay up there when it's meant to be down here. So that was my bad. But then after that, roughly everything else is, you know, okay. Let's just give ourselves one full point, okay? I out of a max of three, and let's move on. That took way too long. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Ooh, Vatican City, good idea. We've gone from drawing a giant continent to the smallest country in the world. Now, Vatican is the only country that's kind of just shaped like a building. So that's why I've drawn a perfect circle to begin with. And then I think I need, what else is it? I'm going to try a smaller circle there and another circle here. I feel like I'm screwing it up, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. Okay, then I'm going to draw that, some lines. And then I'm going to fill the lines in, I think. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. And then I do feel like maybe it disappears a bit on this one side. And then does it go inwards? Hmm, sure. Yes, that's my submission. It doesn't feel right. Let's reveal the actual Vatican City. Oh, yeah, I've screwed that one. If we zoom in on the full Vatican City, you can see that I've drawn the building, haven't I? Or at least I've attempted to draw the building. Nice one, Jack. I think that's that's no points, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. Ooh, America. Obviously, United States will go with rather than just America, because that could be anywhere. Another very iconic shape. I'd like to aim for a full point. So we're going to begin by drawing Florida. And I think that's just as phallic as it needs to be. And now we can move on. <laughs> Is there like a point? to Texas? I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. It's kind of just a big shape like that, isn't it? More or less, anyway. But I'm going to go the extra mile. Can I make it smaller? Oh, I can. Because we need room for Alaska up in the top, which I'm going to draw with a straight line. And then Alaska's like ginormous, basically, isn't it? It's like the biggest state by far. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like that kind of shape. And then a bunch of like tiny little islands outside of it as well. I like shoving them on because it makes it look like it's legit, even if it's completely wrong. And then just you know what? I'm even going to draw a little square for Hawaii to go in because it's just the kind of guy I am. I couldn't actually tell you what Hawaii looks like. I think it's kind of just an island, is it? With like some nice small islands around it. Is that about right? Maybe? Possibly? So I don't need to draw any of the states, but do you know what? It might be funny if we do. So let's do... A Big fat Texas, there you go. Let's get California on the go, and we can have, what is it, Washington up in the top. We'll get Montana and all of them, just shove them all up, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> we need some like perfectly square ones shoved in. Let's just do some random lines. That'll yeah 
And then connect the random lines up. Yes. I think there's a little bit of stuff happening up here in like Maryland. So I'm going to have a little lip there. And then we have like a bunch of small states or something, don't we? Is that right? Maybe, possibly. You can be Rhode Island. That little dot right there. And then I'm just going to connect up these lines, which honestly looks so legit. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to put Tennessee there. I know Tennessee is like a long, thin one. And then we've got like Mississippi and Alabama and stuff like that that are all that kind of rough shape at least roughly anyway. And I think Indiana is like that kind of shape. I just had a bit of fun there at the end. That was just a bonus exercise, really. I'm not being marked on that. Can we just get that clear? I'm not marked on the state boundaries, just the overall country shape, okay? All right, can we please reveal the actual USA? There we go. R right, mm -hmm. okay then. <laughs> right, so genuinely, this whole time, I've thought that Alaska was kind of, you know, sort of connected, uh, like a point, and, you know, we had Canada up here. But when you actually look at pictures on a map, it's pretty far away. So I'm 100% losing points there. Texas did come down quite a lot more. I've done a tiny little nipple there, and then it also needed to have come in here, as opposed to just being flat. That's quite interesting. So, do you know what? I think we give ourselves half a point, because the logic was there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one last one. We're gonna end off with one that's hopefully not too bad, and it is Australia. Okay, Australia in theory should be okay, I think, anyway. So, it's kind of got some points to it, doesn't it like that it's like got like cat ears it seems to be what they've ended up looking like and then it goes back in and then is it like that no <laughs> let me try again there i'm gonna go outwards and then i'm gonna go inwards and i'm gonna go outwards and then inwards it's hard it is hard to do i'm going again with it i'm going again yeah that's a nice curve and then let's get a more definitive point and then yeah 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 sure nope screwed it up let's try that sure and then we do tasmania down the bottom it's bloody difficult i'm not gonna lie let's just make ourselves feel better by flagifying it a little bit you know what i mean when in doubt whack out the flags that's what i always say just gonna shove in a union jack because I, I really cannot be bothered to try and draw it right i've really screwed up the union jack was a mistake now i can't undo i've really messed this one up i'm gonna have to restart it this is the kind of thing that i'm gonna go with can we reveal the true shape of australia please <laughs> Fair. I don't think you can give me that, to be honest. It's nice that Tasmania's included down the bottom, but this bat here has no place to be there. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. Okay, what we have learned is that drawing countries from memory is very difficult, and I commend you if you could do it. Recognising country outlines is one thing, drawing them is very different. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for having me, subscribers. Absolutely crazy. I'll see you later.